Hey, this is Andrew from CustomGuitarNeckPlate.com. Just wanted to show you how you can spot a, a fake Fender guitar neckplate. Um, just opening it up, uh, made in the USA Fender F plate. It's very common, uh, commonly sold on uh, all the auction websites and local uh, music stores and things like that. So. Um, yeah, the two plates on the left, they're, they're fake. They're from China. I picked them up just to see what the buzz was about. A lot of people are buying them, but I uh, want to show you the, the inferior, inferior quality. Uh, the plates finish on the left is not too bad. Uh, the main difference, though, is the width of the lines that make up the F. It's super hard to film this stuff. Chrome's very reflective obviously and to try to get a, a good camera angle um, and then point some things out. Anyways, uh, the authentic plate on the right, the lines are much wider apart and the fake plate on the left from China, uh, it's more narrow and so for the untrained eye, I mean you're just looking at an F and you're thinking, oh there it is, right? Uh, other thing you look for is the whole uh, spacing. Um, you can see the radius corners on the authentic plate, a little bit more round. That's a quarter inch radius. Um, another giveaway is the, the screws that come with these. Uh, the Made in the USA plate has Phillips overhead head number eight screws uh, to one and three quarter inches in length. Um, the Chinese made screws are, are huge in comparison. Uh, just look at the, the head size there, what a difference. Okay, the next thing I wanted to show you is the, the width of the plate. Uh, the Chinese plate measures 2 millimeters thick. The authentic Fender F plate is at 1.75, roughly. Um, uh, what you're seeing there is just how warped the Chinese-made fake is versus the American-made plate. So, uh, just, yeah, not good. Okay, so let's say someone's trying to trick you and they're, you know, bringing authentic fender screws in. Uh, what you're going to notice is that the screw head is completely buried uh, below the surface of the plate. Um, again, it's tough to, to show you this, but it's just so reflective, but the, the screw head is literally sitting below the surface of the plate. And that just shouldn't happen. Okay, let's look at the Fender Custom Shop neck plate. That is the fake one coming from China. So it's two millimeters thick. It comes with a plastic gasket, which personally I, I would never use on my guitars. Why well, put a piece of um, cheap plastic on? Uh, one thing I'm showing here is the radius corners of the authentic F plate. Uh, they're quarter inch. Uh, the Chinese one is definitely uh, not as round. Um, that's not such a big deal. I have seen uh, Fender Custom Shop neck plates without that exact quarter inch radius um, uh, corner and they were authentic. Um, here's the, <clears throat> the width comparison. And again, not, not a big deal. Uh, but if the camera focuses here in just a second, I think it will. just wanted to show the finish quality. Uh, there's literally a dip in the edge of the neck plate. And again, super hard to film this stuff with the reflective nature of the uh, neck plate. It's just illustrating just how sharp the edges are. But right there, there's a dip. Um, I had the seller send me another one just to see if it was a one-off and the dip was in the exact same spot so what that's uh, telling me is that the mold that they've built to imprint the design and to actually stamp these plates um, is likely defective and what should be running vertically there is a line uh, dissecting the V and there's no line there Okay, here's a comparison of uh, authentic plate on the left and the Chinese plate on the right. 
Uh, first thing you'll notice is the radius to corners on the left side, quarter inch radius. Um, look at the holes. Uh, they don't have that uh, angle to the depth of the holes. Uh, the font of the custom shop is different. And the V is dissected with a horror, uh, rather vertical line with the authentic plate on the left. That's not the case with the copy on the right. Take a moment to show you my plates. Um, so build quality, much better. Uh, I have these made in a guitar factory in Japan, not in China. Dealt with China in the past, not happy uh, with anything that comes out of China. And ultimately, uh, I own the font. So I purchased this font. Um, uh, the custom shop, of course, is inspired by the uh, font from Classic Cars, which I'll show you in just a second. Uh, the font that the Chinese are using, uh, much different. If you can see the C, uh, and see how it's all blended with a line underneath at the C-U-S-T-O-M, and then the line continues to the shop. Uh, mine has separation there. And, of course, uh, it's illegal to stamp the fender uh, registered name. So Something interesting I wanted to show you was, of course, um, the Disney Cars 2 uh, uh, font that they use, and of course the V logo there. Uh, this all comes from the Chevy 1950s. So I guess the question is, you know, which came first, the chicken or the egg, and who <laughs> who had the V first? And I mean, is there ownership over a V? Is like, is there an ownership over a, a number? Uh, no. So um, nice look at a, a beautiful car, and with the V, and a nice look at an older Chevy there and um, a number of movie posters, of course, with the um, font that Fender actually uses. Uh, and uh, I find this fascinating, right? And uh, always uh, interesting conversation when brought up. So my plates come in a number of different uh, styles and different finishes. That's probably the most popular one there, the limited edition. I do have just the custom shop plate with the V. I have different finishes. Uh, this is kind of like a brushed finish. Um, looks more like relic. And of course have plates in chrome and gold. Blank plates for serial stamping. Here's one of my uh, favorite finishes. It's a matte finish. I'll see if I can get uh, the correct angle here on it. Uh, it's not reflective, but uh, I've got this on three of my Telecasters right now. Love it. And a number of different finishes there. So, I mean, check the site. Uh, take a look. If you have any questions, please contact me. Uh, one more thing I will show you here is that I uh, do sell authentic fender as well. And I have Road Worn, which are made in Mexico. Uh, there's the part number there if you're interested in looking that one up. Uh, I can serial stamp these for you. Um, I do have the Telecaster bridges as well. I've got the... Um, American made, uh, made in USA blank plates. Uh, I've got those um, ready to stamp. I've got the go to, uh, yeah, go to uh, relic plates. Uh, those are quite popular. Uh, made in Japan, um, maybe at a familiar factory. Hint, hint. So uh, I relic these as well. And uh, you can see the difference between the new on the left and the aged or road worn on the right. You can actually stamp serial numbers on the bridge plates as well. Okay, so thanks for taking, uh, taking a look at what I have to offer. And if you have any questions, uh, visit my site and you uh, contact me through the contact form. Okay, thanks.